Welcome back to Vegan Live Fit. We're looking good. Can save the earth. This is Corinne Sutton. And I'm here to talk about when is the best time to have carbohydrates. So this is a question that is repeatedly brought up to me all the time, especially when it comes to fat loss. And this, how I like to answer this question is that there's really no specific times. There's, there's a lot of there's a lot of things in the air or online or studies that show that that says that we should have carbohydrates mostly in the morning, you know, just because uh, we're we're more active during the day, and at night we're more sedentary. But here's the thing: if you really look at it, what at what happens if you work at night? You know, so if you work at night, and let's say you have an active job at night. Does that mean you're not going to consume carbs? So let's talk about carbohydrates itself, by itself. Carbohydrates is the main source that fuels the body. So we carbohydrates is very important, especially if it's the main it's, it's considered a main source to fuel the body. And it helps with, you know, it helps with our workouts, it helps us like actually be active and move, it helps with brain function, it helps with digestion, it helps with a lot of things. It's it's pure energy. You know, so when it comes down to carbohydrates, you know, it's not really about the time to have what times is best to have carbohydrates. It's really about what type of carbohydrates are you consuming. So there's simple carbohydrates and then you have complex. Simple carbohydrates is like candy, sodas, things that's uh, refined and processed, you know. So those are the type of things that you want to stay away from. Candy, soda. Uh, white potatoes, white pasta, white breads, you know, these are certain uh, food food groups you kind of want to stay, you, you pretty much want to stay away from, especially when it comes to fat loss. If your goal is fat loss, you definitely want to stay away from that. Now, complex carbs is more like, it's carbohydrates that has a lot of fiber. So it actually takes the body, it, it slows down the digestion, the digestion of the, the actual carbohydrate, and then the car and then once it's digest, the actual source of the energy is stored into the liver until ready, until it's ready um, for it to be used. And that's especially during like a workout activity or something like that. So that's considered, those type of foods considered like sweet, uh, sweet potatoes. You have wheat, wheat bread, uh, oats. You have lentils, beans. Uh, what else you got? Did I say oats already? Yeah, I said oats. Uh, a lot of fruits are complex carbohydrates like oranges, uh, mangoes. So there's there's a uh, there's tons of things. Quinoa. There's tons of uh, carbohydrates that's out there that's complex. So that's something that you really want to stay with. Now, when it comes to when it when it really comes down to the times. The times isn't really that important because it depends on each individual of what they do. For example, like myself, I wake up really early in the morning, but the only thing I have for breakfast really is a banana and an orange just because when I go work out, I work out pretty fasted. Like I work out on a very, very light stomach just because I don't, I, I just can't. For me, I just can't work out with with anything in my stomach so that's and that's something that I'm used to that's and and truthfully the main reason why is just because I was in the military for eight years and I mean we used to wake up during like 5 a.m. and stuff like that so there's not really any time to have breakfast I mean once we wake up we work out so I'm just used to that type of nature and I carried it on even to my civilian life so this is something that works for me. I don't recommend it for other individuals, but I de definitely it works for me. Now, when it comes to uh, like the average Joe, yeah, you know, have 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 carbohydrates in the morning just because, especially if you're working out and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, you probably probably if you're that individual that needs some type of energy, and you could work out with food in your stomach and it doesn't bother you then definitely have carbohydrates. But remember, always have complex carbs just because it's going to be a slow-burning carb unless unless you're uh, you're not overweight because this is really more for people who's overweight. Now, if you're not overweight, 
then you could it's sometimes you could have or maybe all the time you could have a simple carbohydrate like uh, white rice or maybe uh, white potatoes and stuff like that for energy because the thing with simple carbs and this is how simple carbs can play a significant a significant role in energy because simple carbs digest and breaks down into a body I mean it breaks down to sugar within minutes you know it, it's quick so if you want a natural pre-workout let's say a natural pre-workout yeah if you have something simple you know you're going to get the energy immediately you know a lot faster than a complex car so I always say it all depends on each individual on how you use the carbs because I always say in my speeches when I talk about foods and stuff like that especially when especially carbohydrates I always talk about everybody thinks simple carbs are bad but people use simple a lot of athletes really use simple carbs in a good way and this is for what what's high in sodium and also high in sugar and consider a simple carb Gatorade like if you if you if you're an athlete and you're working on the court let's say a basketball player is on the court what do you see them drinking what do you see football players drinking Gatorade because it's fast energy and it's quick so and when they're in that timeout or that small little break that's enough energy to get them going to continue the game so that's how simple carbohydrates can be used in a good way now if it's if you're trying to lose weight then you don't need simple carbohydrates you need more complex carbs you need slow burning carbs because the simple carbs is going to turn to sugar and you already and that individual who's overweight or obese already has enough fat because fat is considered as stored energy so there's no reason to really have a, a high amount of carbohydrates in their diet for fat loss because they have so much stored energy or fat within their body that the body just needs to metabolize the fat because fat is fat muscle and muscle you cannot turn fat into muscle that's the thing that a lot of people think fat does not turn into muscle fat is burned as energy muscle grows that's it muscles muscle I mean muscles is attached to bones so we all have muscle it's just about the growth of the muscle or the toneness of the muscle or how, how you want how it actually looks in the appearance of the skin yeah that's it so when it comes down to it um, when it comes when it comes down to it to your carbohydrate sources and stuff like that look at when you look at your activity level I always say that look at your activity level look at what type of individual you are if you work at night then you know for for example if you work at night then probably you want to have carbohydrates at nighttime because you sleep during the day mostly and then the other way around when it comes to people who work during the day more than likely you want to have carbohydrates during the day and then then at night kind of taper down but truthfully it's about the activity level it's not really about the time it's really 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 not about the time it's basically on the activity level and what I also want to say too is even days when let's say for example like myself this happens to me sometimes when I go out to when I go work out and stuff like that and then I start going to work there's days for some weird reason there's days that I just can't get anything to eat I'm like I'm just like any other person it's hard I'll tell you the truth try and get your meals in is hard and it's probably because I didn't have time to meal prep that day so now I'm starving and I'm like basically and it's really bad I'm like using supplements just to just to keep the hunger down you know and I'm just consuming like small carbohydrate sources which is like fruits throughout the day you know but once I get home let's say I get home let's say the whole day from 5 a.m. all the way to 3 o'clock p.m. you know I had no I didn't really have no significant carb source in my body does that mean I'm gonna start off with a low carbohydrate because it's already in the middle of the evening and I'm not going to be able to get an X amount of carbohydrates in my body no it doesn't mean I'm going to taper down I'm not tapering down I'm going to try to consume as much carbohydrates that I can for the bot for what my body actually needs so if I'm like at, if I'm at I'm usually at 400 grams of carbs so throughout the day I was only getting a hundred does that mean I'm going to taper down and only get like 200 by the end of the night no I'm gonna try my best to get up to 400 if I can so I actually have so when I wake up the next day 
my cells is already regenerated because like I said, carbs is energy. And when we feel bad in the morning or when we wake up at night or whatever, that's because our cells aren't regenerated by the foods. We're not actually nourishing the body for the actual types of nutrient it needs. So this is why carbs is very important. But with that said, uh, be vegan, live life fit forever. And just remember, like, don't let carbs be your enemy. Don't let carbohydrates be your enemy. Let it be your friend. All right? Peace.